Hey guys, I wanted to do a little bit more uh, uh, focus on the right hand. I get a lot of questions about right hand technique. Um, and so I'm going to have this slightly odd angle here so you can see my right hand fingers. I use flash on my, on my fingertips. <laughs> I try and you know get a pretty good um, you know push on the string. I I don't like a spiky sort of sound. I like a nice round sound. So I feel like I got to produce a tone with all of my fingers. A nice tone in there. Um, there's a few different characteristics. I tend to favor my first finger for the fattest sound and my thumb. I might use one finger for a whole passage. play alternating thumb and first finger for a faster passage. And of course I'm using hammer-on and pull-off, more, more pull-offs than hammer-ons. Notice that my, my, it's almost like I have a pick in my hand. I'm not individually moving my fingers for this particular approach. I'm tightening up a little bit and playing a more almost like alternating down and up strokes. That tightening up is not a tension. It's just limiting the movement of the fingers. So the I just do one note. You can see it, it looks like a, a very fast thumb, but if you turn it this way, you can see I'm catching your nostril. <laughs> this guitar has a little bit narrower string spacing on it, and um, I'm getting used to that. Uh, the Telecaster has a slight, slightly wider string spacing, which I prefer. And then, um, let's see, uh, another thing I'll do is alternate uh, thumb and any other thing, or even just alternate various in a non-pattern way. Whatever the line needs. So I can access everything I need, bass notes, chord uh, punctuation, uh, double stop. And then I will occasionally use my little finger. So we see that. The thumb and one are mostly plucking the two note chords. Okay, I grow a little fingernail on the um, little finger, short fingernail on the little finger, so it lengthens the finger just a little bit and gives that, that note a little bit more punch. That's on the, the top of the chord. The combination of it being closer to the bridge and having a little nail on it gives me the kind of occasional separation that I like to have in a high note. You know.
Sometimes I'll just use one finger. But that's the story about my right hand.